What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of Shed Season 2023. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Emmett Enyart, and this is my channel Extreme Element Outdoors. For those of you that are new to the channel, if you enjoy deer hunting, shed hunting, or turkey hunting, and doing it on a working class schedule, well you came to the right channel because that's what we're all about. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when we drop more videos. For our shed hunting videos, what we do in every video is we have a giveaway shed that's planted at some point in the video. First person who sees it and comments the correct time that it's in the video will receive this shed and a free antler anchor to help hold it. As you can see here, I've got a shed tag on this antler. So this, these are my shed tags right here. You can see the logo right there. You can get them on my website. We have a wide variety of colors. I put the link in the description below. There's only one winner. The person who wins the giveaway shed will be pinned at the top. Do not fall for some of the scams that we've seen in the past. Basically, they got like an account name that says text this number and they'll use my profile picture. Just don't, don't fall for it. So, okay, let's get into this week's video. All right guys, about to head out for another day of shed hunting here. You know, there was a pretty big snowstorm that came through yesterday, but luckily the areas that I like to shed hunt didn't get hit too hard. You can see right here, I put some sheds out yesterday to see how much the snow would impact them. You can see, I mean, it blew a little bit, but if there's anything decent in size, we, should, we shouldn't miss it. We'll head on out here. I can see a dead deer over here. I just pulled him up in my binos. I thought it looked like a rib cage. We're gonna go check it out real quick. But I'm not seeing a head. If there is a head, it's likely not a buck. Actually, his head's gone. That's weird. Just kidding. We found his head. It was right here the whole time. I'm an idiot. I walked right over it. We were only like 45 minutes into it and you know hadn't had any found a shed yet and was you know not not discouraged because i don't think we weren't going to find any big ones but uh we're getting to a good spot here not too far off a of food source and i see one side off of a deer that we've already found one side off of earlier this year it's a buck i call macho and uh, he's getting chewed up a little bit dropped in the timber i'm glad we were able to get to him today it's still early yet but we uh, found his other side earlier here in February here so um pretty excited that we were able to find him you know if you haven't seen the video from earlier in the year this is a deer that uh had a couple encounters with this year you know obviously would have preferred to fi find him huh he's still got his wax wing pretty good there obviously would have preferred to find him before he got chewed up a little bit here but he's not chewed up too bad lost a little bit of his brow a little of his g2 well, with his G4, the other side was probably, I don't know, 300 yards as the crow flies. But he's uh, bedded here. Actually, had a, you know, the last picture I had of him with both sides was, was probably about 100 yards from here. So I don't know if he dropped this side first or the other side first, but I'm not uh, going to complain about that. We got him matched up now. Like I said, that snow hit last night. And you can see how many beds are already right here. Definitely tells you it's a good spot. Dad's already been up here and looked at it, but just called me over to take a look at it. I mean, that's one, two, three, four. Just came up on the second shed here today. Got this. That's an old one right there. Tines down, huh? Can't believe it's not chewed more. It's weird how some of these get chewed so bad and then others don't but it looks like a looks like a nice antler yes it is yes that is that is a very nice antler
So that's funny. We were just saying there's got to be, Dad just said you got there's got to be one between here and where we're getting back to the truck. And uh, we both look over and saw this one at the same time. That's funny. Go ahead. It's all you. That's uh, you know how I said there was a decent eight that dropped his antlers this week. Yeah. That's him. Blood. So. Yeah, that was this week, because I had pictures of him after we were here last weekend. He dropped his other side too, I think. Oh, well, I, I can't confirm it, but that's just this week, right there. Let's hope that uh, he's not the only one who had the idea of laying laying down in this area. Pretty damn good back right there. Oof. Walking along right here and actually stepped on this. I heard it's crunch. It sounded like something pretty thick. I looked down and it's an antler. That has got to be a really, really old one. Look at that. That's got to be a decent one. You can see its base. Wow. That has got to be super old. Holy cow. Look at this thing. Ancient. Holy cow. That's one you wish you would have found a couple years ago. I think I know what luck that's off of. Boy, oh boy, that's a stud. Too bad. I found the other side back in 2019, and for th those of you who are familiar with my videos, you might remember this is the very first video I ever posted for a shed hunting video. I found this shed and another really nice one. This shed is the one I found this year that I stepped on, and I cannot believe it, but it was actually 100 yards from where I found this one. And I don't know how I would have missed it, but I did, and uh, that would have been his match that year. Unbelievable, but you know besides the point I think this is really cool how I found this one four years after so like I'm gonna keep the sheds the way they are But this is a great opportunity to make a shout out to my friend Mitch Schumann who actually does some great work for restoring antlers And he actually restored a shed for me this past off season The the shed he restored was off of a shed my dad had found when he was tracking a buddy's deer like years ago you had to be extremely fragile with it because it was almost chewed all the way through the bone. There was only like a little sliver of it holding it together. And actually when we shipped it to Mitch, it broke in half. But he totally did a great job on this, especially with the fact that he had no pictures to work with. And when he got it, he received it in two pieces. I've put his contact information in the description below. I would recommend reaching out to him. All right, back to the video. This is this is such a good spot right here because you got that south facing slope here. It comes out of that nice thick timber. And when I say south facing slope, I really shouldn't say that. You got this terrain right here where it kind of just rolls down a little bit. But you have this native grass and the sun nails it all day. And you can see that's why there's no snow. And that is why these types of spots are where you find a lot of sheds. Clearly there's not one right now, but you know, it's really good to, to see that and realize it because there's snow everywhere else. You know, it's just something to be, you know, observant of and then you'll better understand that's where to look for sheds and help concentrate your time in some of the best spots when you have lim limited time. Yeah, that is a sweet answer. And actually, I think that we found one shed off of this buck last year. Um, ah, that's nice. I think he was a five last year, but nice and fresh hopefully we can find his other side that's a really good start to the day big old one and a nice fresh one we'll see if we you know can keep the, the good luck moving well just came upon the second fresh one here today pretty good one huh right here on a path down here under these cedars real solid nice one coming down this path right here going out to feed because there's a cornfield right up there beautiful there's a second fresh one a day third or one total one a day let's keep moving well it's been a while since we got a fresh one 
and uh, we were coming down this ridge right here that's got some mature cedars I got lucky here because there's one laying right there <laughs> that is cool and I'm pretty sure I've got a shed off of that buck from last year yeah it's really cool how he's laying there kicked back like that so he must have been just traversing this ridge and popped it off I already don't have enough room in the backpack for that big one might have to make the run back to the truck here at some point well we just found this one right here and it's only we're only about like 30 or 40 yards from where we just found this one picked up a couple deer and then dad's seen this one go ahead pick that sucker up you think it's the other side i'd say it looks like it yeah i'd say yeah, so. I think so man yeah it's hard to tell i'd be surprised if it wasn't i put it that way We've been walking some really good stuff today really good stuff and i mean i guess our shed count can speak to that but we just added another one just a little one would have been hard to see with the snow earlier today but given the warm temps and the snow melting we're able to pick it up so bingo i think we're about five hours in now just a lot of thick stuff we've been walking through. Found quite a few, so we can't complain, but then we just came up on this, right here on the edge of this thick timber. We came up on this huge three-point. I don't think we've ever found a three-point this big. This is huge. Or at least, yeah, that's a stud. That is definitely a stud right there, wow. I don't see many three points that big. That is gnarly. We're gonna have to look around, we're gonna have to find his other side. That's awesome. Like you said, that's the boost we uh, we need. So, well, I might not sound excited right now, just kinda whooped, but we're definitely gonna do our due diligence here and try to match him up. All right, not too far off from where we just found that nice three point side. And I come up on an old one here. It's kind of a needle in the haystack. You can see how it blends in with all this other stuff. But definitely an old one. Nasty one. Oh, no way. No, that is this year. Boom. That's a good sign because that means there's a lot of deer. Like, that's the second deer here just right off this um, thick point. But there might be a couple more. They might be like all corralling in this area. Who knows? Well, I just met up with dad and he had found this and that that broke super old match set here two bananas fortunate that we have been able to find so many sheds throughout the years that I'm you know I have no problem doing this but five years ago I, I would have yeah I'm really tickled with those but it counts towards uh, our goal of 150, so hopefully we can find some more. This is pretty funny. I was too focused on looking in here, I wasn't even looking down in front of me. You can see I stepped almost right on that. Oh well. I didn't, and I found it, and it's this year's. So that's a good find. Hopefully we can find some more here. Because dad came up and found this little one right here. This is a little guy, but it's this year's, and it's gonna go to the 150 count. Got down here to this wet bottom, and just uh, found this nice five a couple years ago. It's been down a while, for sure. That's a nice shed, and I'm glad we were able to find it. Well, we're not even about 100 yards from where I found uh, that side over the, in the cornfield where I almost stepped on it and uh, well it's taken us a little while we've been moving through some stuff but I think this is his other side right here tines down and the other side was the left side this is a right 
Yes, sir. That's got to be his other side. So, uh, that's another one down, but I'm telling you what, I'm pretty whooped today. I'm going to rest easy tonight, I'll tell you that. So, today what we're doing is we're hitting a couple farms. We're just going to hit this first farm. There's only a couple sections we want to check real quick. And then we're going to move on to another farm, and then another farm after that. So, uh, the intention is to hit three farms today. And hopefully add to the count. You know, it's still early, so not all the sheds are on the ground, but we do think that there's quite a few decent ones on the ground that we want to find. So that's why we're coming back to this farm first. We're going to take a quick look on the couple ridges that we didn't hit. It shouldn't take too long, and then we'll move on to um, the next farm. Okay, I just got done doing the intro video. Dad just said he found a set here. This is one of the only spots they haven't checked yet. We found a, a shed off of him last year. I actually, he didn't show back up until, you know, the second half of the rut, late season. That's another nice set here on this, uh, wow. I thought when you caught up, it was going to be the one buck. I did too, but... Well, I had pictures of him in uh, late December, and then started getting pictures of a shed buck pretty early in the year. I mean, that's a nice set, don't you think? Yeah. He's definitely been down a while. There you go. There's two. That's... It didn't take long at all. We're not too far from Dad. Found that set right up here on this ridge. Just kind of working our way down is off of a pretty decent food source for this time of year. And uh, come up on a uh, little blade here. Look at that thing. That's pretty slick. That's awesome. Seriously like a butter knife right there. That's this year's too. So maybe we'll find some more here. Clearly these deer are using this stuff, even though it's kind of, it's not the best bedding, but it's just right here off that food source and they're traversing it back and forth from their bedding to it, which is a great spot for a deer to, you know, drop its antlers this time of year. This is weird. There's, a, there's, there's another dead deer right here. Wow, that sucks. I can't remember the last, I, th I think I had pictures of him in the late season. I don't think he was much. He's not that old. That's unfortunate. Damn it. I don't get it. I don't know what would have killed him. But that sucks. It really does suck. Well, I was just up on this bank here. I was about to come down and cross over to the other bank and actually could see this one as I was on my way down. Stands out pretty easy. Right there. So there is shed number four today. That's actually an old one too. Well, we've been on the second farm here for a little bit, and actually we thought this farm was going to have a lot of hay fields. It's a farm that we just got permission to shed hunt this year. And uh, pleasantly surprised when we rolled up over the top of this hay field, there was some nice native grass. It's on a south facing slope. It's real nice. And dad just called over and said he found one. So, looks like it's over here close to a fence line. <laughs> Boom. Don't get much better than that. Look at that sucker. That's a good one. Wow, he just jumped right over that. Yeah, you're right. Whew. Hopefully we can find his other side, but that looks like a stud. Yes, sir. I don't get much better than that. Oh, look at how fresh that blood is. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That is nice. Yep. All right, let's find his other side now, huh? So I've been walking this tall grass here for a good minute now. There's just so much good stuff between all these paths and beds. It's hard to it's hard to pick exactly what, you know, how to concentrate your search. But I finally came up over this spot here. You can see that shed laying right there, coming right down this path here. I've got this deer on camera, or at least I think I do. And I think that uh, we've already found the other side of this shed a good ways away from here earlier in the year. So... If that is the match side, which I'm pretty dang sure it is, I could be wrong, but if it is, that is at least a half mile away from where I found the other side. And this is pretty fresh. I mean, that's pretty fresh, and we found the other side 
like two weeks ago. So, you know, he probably held it for a while. But this tall grass is just so dang tough to search. You know, I don't have a shed dog and I've never gone with a shed dog before, but I feel like if there's a good shed dog out there, this would be like where you'd really get your money's worth. Well, I've been walking some good stuff, south facing slopes with native grass and, you know, young cedars that transitioned down to a timber. Some decent food close by, but not like the best. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of activity right now, but uh, camped this spot in the middle of the field, thought it was great. Obviously, you can see why I'm taking the film right now is because there's a shed right there. I can't say I'm necessarily surprised. I don't know, it kind of looks like, it's gotta be this year because there weren't leaves on top of it, but you can see, looks like it's been down a while. All right, got another fence line shed here today. This is awesome. Luckily we have permission to be on both sides. Who says horse pastures can't have sheds? Just found two and just found a monster shed antler buck. Just kidding, that's a peewee. But I can see this gnarly ass rub down here in the water. These boys wanted to establish their dominance so bad that they had to come out in the middle of the water to rip it up. That's the first time I see something like that. Obviously, it's probably a little bit more dry. Probably wasn't water here back when, you know, that was a hot commodity, but so cool how it's, you know, right there. And there's another nice rub. I don't know if that's kind of looks, yeah, it's this year, a little bit of it this year. And, oh, that's a dead tree. So we're in a sheddy area. I mean, this timber isn't the thickest and the best but I do know there's a good food source close so I won't be surprised if we slip up on one here quick it's coming down that field edge and this has actually been looking really good actually I just I took in a video of a rub that was in the water and I was saying it has to be good you know we're gonna have to cross the shed here because of how good it is and I know that there's a good food source close by and BAM there is one right there and that one actually I know what deer that's off of he held for a while and then he dropped it and then he held the other side for a while and I had pictures of him and I can't remember if this is the side that he dropped first or second but he went he was there was a few days there where he carried one side around so his other side if it's close here just by pure coincidence but he is not gonna be you know he didn't drop these both at the same time I do know that nice deer though real nice deer one that's gonna be one that you know that's one to see next year for sure I'd have to think back but I almost think he's three could be four but he by no means is five he's a good deer glad to see he made it through look here there's a dead there's a deer that's dead under this log sure hope that's not how it actually died so we've already found three sheds in this food source this year two when he was hunting you've seen those in the first episode from this year but uh he saw one out there so that was gonna make the fourth one that we found out in this field and as i'm walking up to it i see the fifth one right here oh it's down in the mud do we want to do go back and do this well yeah i think we want to go see what that is right oh, so that'll be the th fifth shed out in this food probably just walk great bedding area that's up next to it and didn't find one which is really shocking whoa there's another one we were just walking up to that one and you just pointed this one out here i think i know what buck it's probably a match set but i think i if it's not i know what buck that's what off of we haven't walked up to that one yet that's nuts that's weird that looks like a pair of scissors I don't know if that's the match set to it. I'd have to go back because he didn't, that deer didn't show up till later in the year.
Let me see if those are a match. Here, give me the old no, one. That's not a match. That's not a match. I've never seen one like this before. It's like a legitimate pincher. Like that's definitely one to, to treasure because you don't see them like that very often. All right, I got something over here on the other side of this ridge that could be antler or could be stick. I'm pretty whooped here. But, uh, it's a f***ing stick. Fuck you. Out in this pasture, it's pretty tough sometimes because it's pretty monotonous and well, right here shows why you keep at it because you find nice things like this. That's a pretty neat one. Definitely one you'd want to see next year. It looks like he's got that like bladed three on him. Nice one. We're putting the miles in and we're being rewarded for it. So, all right, on to the next spot. So these days are always the best when you have a backpack full. You can't even close the dang. There we go, hold on. Yep, we got it. That'll be good enough. We have no more room for another big one. It looks like it might be an old one. Yeah, that is. That's definitely old. This farm that I'm shed hunting right now is actually one that we got to put food on this year, so I think that we should find some sheds. All right, it's been about 15 minutes since I found that last shed. We're just skirting down this ridge. It's about a full of cedars. It's a little thick, but uh, came up in here and luckily saw this one. And that's an old one too. And I'm willing to bet that that one is the match side to the one we just found. Look at that. Right there. Interesting path for him to take, but it really doesn't matter to me because, well, as long as I find them, I'm happy. The pedicle. Yeah, so we uh been a while since we found a shed. We're just coming down here. I can see we saw this shed right here. Is that from this year? Yeah, Some like would think, right? Just finding the big ones now. That is a monster right there. Wow. I'll probably put him on the hit list next year. And then we were just walking up to it. And I think I got it on camera when I saw it here. There's this other one right here. Maybe it's the other side. Ooh, that'd be a weird one if it's the other side, but maybe. I feel bad for whoever else is in the area because we're picking up all the monsters now. No, it can't be. Both left. But well, I just called over and said he's got another monster. Looks a lot like a monster, yes. Nice find. Very nice. They're all treasures. They all are treasures, that's right. Alright, here we go. Well, we, we probably need to go back and pick up the wheelbarrow because I just found another monster over here. This is freaking massive. I don't know how I'm going to be able to carry all these. That thing might score a total of mm, seven inches, maybe. I think I just found another shed. I was walking back, back here along the cedars and looked out here just glassing this grass. It actually happened to pull up something that I think has to be a shed or if it's not, I don't really know what it is. I'm getting closer here. Looks like it's not as big as I thought it was. Let's see what it is. If it is as big as I thought it was, I don't know. We'll see. It's a shed. Nice. 
right here. It looks like it's pretty dang old. If it's this year, it was dropped really early. Finally found one of the sets off of the, one of the decent deer that we've been looking for. This one's off of uh, it's a Tootsie Roll buck. Cause he's nothing but, he looks like a Tootsie Roll. He's all body, no neck. And he was about five yards from dropping him in the creek and we would never find him again. But that was one I was that was pretty frequent on camera. So I would have thought he would have been close by. Luckily I'm right. That buck is a fat son of a gun. There's one of the nice bucks. He's probably not going to get much bigger next year. He'll probably be about the same size next year. So. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when we drop more videos. This is probably the best video I've ever put out there. We found a lot of sheds in the four-day stretch that this video spanned. Um, quite a few, a lot of really nice ones, and it's going to be a hard weekend to top, but it's getting us closer to our goal of 150. So make sure you stay tuned and see if we can get there. I think we will. So